Today we're going to be talking about shell functions. A shell function is a way to create a custom command by defining a sequence of other commands. Uh, shell functions, uh, or functions more generally, should be immediately familiar to you if you've taken any sort of course on Python, C Sharp, or any other programming language. Um, functions are the bread and butter of traditional programming languages and a lot of the features that are available to other programming languages are available to Bash as well. Um, and that's what we're going to be going over today. In the context of Linux, uh, Bash functions or shell functions are relegated to kind of the more advanced section of, uh, you know, Bash scripting. But um, I rather consider them a productivity hack and maybe a step more advanced than aliases but otherwise um, nothing that uh, even a Linux or novice Linux user um, uh, should shy away from. So who am I? I'm Jasper. I'm a professional Linux system engineer. I'm also a Linux nerd um, so I like to think I have a lot of knowledge and uh, that's what I'll be sharing uh, not just in this video, but in what I hope to be a long series of future videos detailing Linux tips and tricks and uh, showing you how to do things uh, at the terminal and uh, elsewhere. So let's get started. How do we define a function? Well, we can use the function keyword. We name the function that we're about to uh, define. We provide open and closed parentheses, which, you know, in this video, they'll stay empty. But, uh, of course, uh, in other contexts, you might find reasons and things to put in there. <coughs> and then we're going to put an open brace. And we're going to start this video off with a tried and true programming convention, since we're doing functions, the Hello World um, legendary. Um, we invoke the function that we just defined by typing in the name and hitting enter and we can see that by doing so we have um, basically run all the run run the sequence of statements that we placed in the body um, so uh, a couple extra tricks before we move on to the next topic um, if you're familiar with Linux administration you should be familiar with the which command which is used to find the location of an executable so for example uh, the bash executable which I'm currently running as my shell uh, is located at that path and which is often used to confirm that you know uh, something is present on the system for example some utility or command line uh, command line program uh, a command line utility is present on the system or uh, maybe something that needs to be installed. If, if we use which with the function that we just defined, we see that it actually produces the source code for the, um, for the, for the function and it actually pretty prints it, meaning it, it kind of uh, prints it in a way uh, that's more legible, um, putting spacing and, and all that good stuff. Um, and uh, another trick that uh, I'd like to show you, we can actually destroy the function that we just defined or undefine it by using the unset command. Um, and now when I hit which hello, um, we see that hello is no longer defined. If I try to invoke hello, we see that Fedora, which is um, the distribution that I'm currently using, is trying to reach out to the repositories to try to install a package named hello, which is obviously not what we're trying to do. So the topic of, uh, we're off to a running start on the topic of functions. Um, let me show you a couple more tricks on how to handle arguments. So if you're not familiar with the terminology, an argument is basically any sequence of letters that you would, letters or numbers that you would place after um, the name of the function or command. So for example, if I wanted to put an actual name and have that handled in the function, um, you know, that would be considered an argument. Um, how do we handle arguments? Well, let me show you. I have actually a couple different methods. There are actually a ton of different, different ways of doing this, and they're all kind of variations on each other. But uh, let me go ahead and um, type all this out, and I'll describe it in just a second.
All right. Now, when we examine this uh, source code, what we see now is that um, I implemented a, an if statement. So again, uh, this is probably not the video for uh, an introduction to if or control flow if you're not familiar with it. But what we're doing here is we are executing one or the other of these statements depending on the result of this test statement right here. Now in Bash, the brackets um, brackets are not used to organize code brackets. In Bash, are actually an alias for the test command, which will actually which is actually used in scripting to um, basically work with if. Um, so basically, it just returns values that are used to determine the truthiness of uh, an expression or statement. So um, if uh, this value, now this uh, automatic variable actually refers to the number of arguments that have been provided to the invocation. So if the number of arguments is zero, then we're going to run the default hello world. If it's anything other than zero, which, you know, uh, of course, uh, it would be greater than zero, um, then we're going to interpolate the first argument into this string. Now, I didn't put uh, quotation marks here but basically it's just going to plug in the first argument right here and uh, the result of that will be if I run hello without arguments I get hello world if I put my name as an argument I get hello Jasper which is very welcoming um, just a quick note uh, this function will accept further arguments but because there's no argument handling for more than one argument um, that second argument is ignored and you know, any additional arguments will also be ignored because this dollar one refers to only the first argument. Um, a very similar treatment using slightly different syntax. Let me just type this out real quick, showing a different method of determining if there are um, arguments at all. And again, very similar logic. In this case, um, uh, an if statement, again, uh, uh, executing one or the other statement, depending on the evaluation of this expression. In this case, instead of going off of the number of arguments like we did before, we are determining if the first argument is null. So this dash z uh, basically tries to determine if this first argument is empty. If it's empty, that means there are no arguments. Um, and then we run hello world. Otherwise, we interpolate the first argument. So again, hello, we get hello world. Hello Jasper, we get hello Jasper. And again, uh, additional arguments are not handled. But, uh, you know, this goes to show uh, what you can do with functions in Bash, how you can uh, implement them as a productivity hack, um, basically interpolating these as um, uh, ba basically substituting any actual um, more useful commands for the hello worlds that I provided. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.